Hello out there to you. In this problem, we've got a game theory duopoly. We've got two soap producers, Fortnum and Mason. Uh, we can either focus on newspapers or magazines for their ad advertising campaigns. Payoff matrix is as follows, and then the payoffs are millions of dollars. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, solve this problem. Okay, and by solve it, what I mean is uh, we're going to see uh, who should do what. So I'm going to do Fortnum in purple, and we'll do Mason in orange, purple and orange, go Suns. Okay, so if Mason, the way to read this is the first number belongs to the left player, so in that case it's Fortnum, and the second number belongs to the top player, which, which is Mason. Okay, let's say that Mason, for example, chooses to choo uh, to advertise in newspapers. What's better for Fortnum? Is it better to do newspapers or magazines? And it's better to do magazines because 9 is higher than 8. Okay. Uh, next, if Mason chooses to do magazines, what's better for Fortnum? So we're comparing this one with this one. And since 10 million is better than 7 million, they should go ahead and do magazines too. Okay. Next, we're going to do Mason. So let's say that Fortnum decides to do newspapers. Then, uh, which one is better for Mason? Is it better to do newspapers or magazines? And it's better to do magazines because 12 is higher than 9. If Fortnum decides to do magazines, now we're comparing these two right here, Mason should actually do newspapers because 8 is higher than 7. Okay, so now we've actually solved the game. This is what's known as the, the Nash equilibrium. Okay, so I'll label that. Okay, so this is the most likely outcome of the game when both parties are acting in their own best interest. Mason's going to advertise in newspapers and Fortnum is going to advertise in magazines. Okay, so let's see what the question is. Is there a dominant strategy for each firm? Okay, so a dominant strategy means you're going to choose that option or that strategy regardless of what the other player does. So that only exists for Fortnum. Fortnum, uh, and I'll put just an F right here. Fortnum's dominant strategy is to go magazines. Okay, just abbreviate that right there. Okay, they should produce magazines because regardless of what Mason does, they're better off. Uh, not produce, but advertise in magazines. Now, Mason does not have a dominant strategy. Depending on what Fortnum does, that changes their best outcome. So you would say, no, Mason has what's called a mixed strategy, and they don't have a dominant strategy. What will be the profit of each firm? So uh, Fortnum is going to make $9 million. Mason is going to make $8 million. Um, it's not the best outcome for... Mason, but it is better than this outcome, and nine is the second best outcome for Fortnum. Is this game an example of a prisoner's dilemma? Okay. Well, uh, if they were to collude, looks like they. So Fortnum wants to be here because ten would be their biggest profit, and. Uh, Mason would want to be here. So no, actually, no, this is not a prisoner's dilemma. The competitive outcome does not result in the worst outcome. Uh, you could, however, see um, Mason realizing that they can make $4 million more if they, if they got to here, and they would just have to pay Fortnum uh, just over $2 million because then that would get them to choose uh, this outcome, and then they could be here okay so if they paid to the, um, you know any amount that's between two um, or more than two million but not not more than four then they could they could move up here so then they would be better off okay so um, you could see that kind of collusion happening. It's not the question uh, that was asked, but it uh, but it certainly could could be could go that direction. The other one is is right here. Um, Fortnum could offer to pay Mason uh, at least 
one million dollars to move from here to here. Um, although actually that wouldn't happen because that would wipe out their profits. So Fortnum's probably the best in the best spot. They would just wait for Mason to uh, pay them 